how bright does this need to be to look right? Well, in the old days when we were dealing with SDR content, you really could get away with something that was in the neighborhood of, call it 40 to 60 nits. That was okay. And so if you were doing 40 to 60 nits, it tended to look bright and punchy and the image was good. And actually what tended to really dominate your perception of the quality was the color and the black levels. As long as you had nice dark black levels, good contrast, you were hitting those nit levels and the color was good, it looked good. And then HDR came out and that really changed things. And projectors, it, the better thing to say was they simply can't reproduce HDR and certainly in the past, not even close. But we've moved on to a point where it's possible to have extended dynamic range EDR or true HDR with projectors with some caveats. And what I have found and others have found in watching content on these projectors in this way is that modern HDR content really does look better as long as you're using dynamic tone mapping um, that's brighter. If it's now you need dynamic tone mapping regardless. In fact, the dimmer it goes, the more important dynamic tone mapping is. But the problem is if it's too dim, the dynamic tone mapping can help to reduce some of the black crush. But overall, it's just not going to look good. You're not going to get the highlights you need. 